Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial I have for you today, so let's just get right into it. So I started with my brows already on, and now I'm taking the P. Louise base in shade Rumor 0.5 and putting it all over my lids. Now I'm taking the Midas Cosmetics Honeycomb Palette. It's in collaboration with Jennifer Locanus, and there she is, she's gorgeous. So I'm taking the shade Hive, and I'm gonna start packing that in my crease with this BH Cosmetics brush. Now with the same brush and no extra shadow, I'm going to start blending out that brown shade. I'm just going in really tiny windshield wiper motions just to blend it out a little. And now I'm going in with a Sigma brush in the shade Rose and I'm going to blend that shadow right on top and a little bit above the brown shade. Now with this small Morphe blending brush, I'm going into the shade Geranium, and again, that's just gonna go right on top and a little bit above the red shade. Now with this tiny, tiny Sigma blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Tulip and that's just again gonna go on top and a little above the orange shade. So here's what we're looking like after going through all the shades once, and now I'm going back in and just re-intensifying all of the shadows, gonna blend each of them into each other and just perfecting the blend, even though it's never gonna be perfect, but still, I'm just gonna keep going in with each shade, and I'm cutting quite a bit because it's just um, very repetitive, I guess. So that's what I'm doing now. So here's what it looks like when I went back in with all those shadows and there's the comparison with the other eye. Now I'm going in with this little Luxie brush and some makeup remover and I'm going in and carving out the cut crease. I do this so it'll remove any of the excess shadow from my lid so that won't mix with the base later on. Um, so yeah, I'm just using that brush to carve it out and I'm about to go in with a Q-tip just to remove all the excess makeup remover. Now I'm going in with the P. Louise base in shade Rumor Zero, it's the white one, <laughs> and I'm carving out that cut crease with the base uh, for the shadow that I'm gonna lay down soon. So here's the shape I have carved out. I'll probably go in and fix it later. So now I'm going back in with the Hive shade on this tiny little Sigma brush and I'm starting to create this line. I don't know how to describe it. I was um, gonna put a wing or I will put a wing of a different shade underneath it. So I was just kind of starting this above where I'd put the wing, but I'm taking that brown shade first. Now I'm taking the red shade and I'm just blending that right on top of the brown like I was doing in the crease earlier. And you guessed it, I'm taking the orange shade and blending that on top of the red. And after that, I'll take the yellow and blend that on top of the orange. Now I'm taking this small flat Sigma brush in the shade Royal Jelly, and that's gonna go in that empty space I left on the lid um, right next to the yellow shade. Hmm. 
Now what I'm doing is going back in with the Hive shade and just redefining that right above the cut crease so it looks nice and sharp. And now I'm taking this tiny little winged eyeliner brush from Sigma and I'm going back in with the P. Louise base in shade Rumor Zero and I'm putting down the base for the wing that I'll be creating later on. And I should have taken my own advice and removed some of that brown shadow because it ends up mixing and I think it kind of messes me up with the shade I'm gonna put down but it'll all work out in the end. <laughs> Now I'm taking this little shader brush from Sigma and the awesome shade, it's called Iris, this purple shade, and I'm packing this on to create a wing. And it starts getting patchy, which I don't think it's the shadow's fault. I think it's the fact that that base was kind of, th it was thinner in some areas over others and it was mixing with the brown. Um, but it's not too noticeable, but I definitely notice it and you'll see all my uh, patient starts wearing thin <laughs> and I get kind of annoyed, but it's all right. So now I'm using a makeup remover wipe and I'm just creating that sharp edge um, along the wing and the rest of my shadow. And right there, I, I removed it to the point where I just thought the wing looked weird, but it's okay. There's the finished eye look. <laughs> Now I'm taking the Anastasia Loose Highlighter in Snowflake. It is gorgeous. And right now I'm just highlighting my inner corners and then I'll also take it on the brow bone. So now I'm going to take the same highlighter and I'm going to put it on my cheekbones <laughs> and I did spray my brush before and yeah it is gorgeous. It's perfect for pale skin. If you have really pale skin you'll love this because it's just a blinding white highlighter. Now I'm taking this Clinique liquid eyeliner and I'm just uh, drawing really thin lines of eyeliner at my eyelashes just so it makes the uh, false eyelashes I'm gonna put on look a little less harsh. <laughs> and I'm also taking this Tarte mascara, it's just a tiny travel size one. Um, yeah. Now I'm showing you the lashes that come in the collab uh, with the Honeycomb palette and I end up going with the lashes in Drone. Uh, they are so pretty, so nice and fluffy. So I'm just uh, letting the glue dry and I'm placing those on my eyeballs. <laughs> Now it's time for the lips. So I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in Nudist Peach. And I'm just putting that on. And then I'm gonna go on top of it with uh, one of the Too Faced um, Lip Injection Lip Glosses. I forget the name. <laughs> And last but not least, I'm going in with the NYX Matte Setting Spray, and I'm just spraying that all over. And I am living my Jeffree Star fantasy, yes. So that's the finished look for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to subscribe down below if you aren't already, and check me out on Instagram and Twitter. And I hope to see you next time. Love you guys, bye.